Hello everyone, how all are you? I hope you all will be fit and fine and doing great in your life and learning and learning new things about your English conversations as well as many much things in your life in your upgoing life and you will be you will do best in your life in future. I have this what I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay. Hello everyone, how all are you? I hope you all would be fit and fine and doing great in your life as well as you are learning new things in your life and, is, and implementing also them and so I have present with a new topic today that is homophones. Uh, do you know the spelling of first of all homophones? The spelling of homophones is written here that is H-O-M-O -O, homo P-H-O-N-E-S homophones. So what does mean homo? Homo means similar and somehow phones mean sound and to pronounce and to the word which is which we are going to pronounce that can be called phones or the sound or the vibration we can say to that. So combinedly they are called homophones. So what are homophones? Homophones are those words which, uh, which uh, exactly not similar. Like if we go for the spelling, they, the spelling of, tho of those words would be different but if we go for the pronunciation of those words for example if i would say sun and the another word is sun the first sun was sun that contains for suraj in hindi and the another word for son that contains for the uh, in hindi that beta so the pronunciation is uh, similar and but the uh, spelling of the sun son and the sun sun are both different that is called homophones so i have written some words which are homophones let's just uh, read them and you have to remind this that all of word because it will improve your vocabulary and your english knowledge as well so let's just learn first uh, the first uh, written example is sun son sun and sun sun and the second right right this right means to write something and this right means is to that that if uh, we are doing something that is right or wrong that can be called right now dear or dear dear means the one which is very precious or very uh, very important for you that can be called dear and the dear it is an animal which lives in forest now board and board these uh, board means this the board this is white board this is can be called board and the board it's board which is uh, like if we are sitting alone no one is around us so we get bored if we do not even have our mobile phones then we get bored all of the day by sitting idle not doing anything that can be considered as bored now hi and hi hi is for if we are greeting someone hello hi that can be called hi but hi is like if we are uh, like for example if we going on our top of a hill there and we are standing on the top and our one of our friend which is who is standing at the bottom so the the uh, friend who is standing at the bottom would say my friend is is there on up of up high on the hill that is high the height which is noting height but here scene and scene here scene is for the scenery the beautiful things the beautiful uh, create uh, uh, creation of nature that can be called scene and the scene scene is for if we are looking somewhere that can be called scene and I and I, no and no, sail and sail, stationary and stationary. Let me just tell you the difference between them uh, and I will tell you. So, for just read and then I will tell you the differences as well. This is meat and this meat. This is made and this is made. This is male and this is also male. Hair, hair. Great and great. So, as you can learn all the homophones and I will tell you the uh, small difference between them. If hair, I means uh, me in Hindi and I, the, uh, the, uh, it can be called I. But now here, no and no. No means janta ya janti and no means no. And here, sale. Sale and sale. Hair sale for, uh, to give in discount. That can be called sale. Or sale here is to if someone is going somewhere uh, and he or she just on the ship and he is traveling that can be called sale and here stationery and stationery this is stationery ery that contains for the shop which contains materials of reading and writing and here stationery means uh, stationery is the condition when someone gets stopped that can be called stationery and here meat and meat here meat is m w t meat to meet someone or to go to look for another one and here meat is for the chicken and the kfc that's all can go for meat here are the 
some words. Uh, uh, here you will tell me the difference between this word and the this word in the comment box. I hope you all will give me the answers and yeah, you all will remind all these homophones and would write in your notebook as well.